TJ Shifty. I'm here with DubSpot at Harvard University. We have a couple workshops here. We're going to teach these, these smart guys and girls a thing or two about DJing and music production. DubSpot, Harvard, together today. I have like Pavlovian responses of pain coming in this program. Yeah. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how it's similar to the ways yes. people have DJed for you know for 40, 50 years, and how it's different. So how the technology relates to what DJing started as, but also how it takes it further. Example in this device, it's what being used to control the software. So I have my platter for the left app, play button, that kind of stuff. In the old days, you have to go, you have to get a big turntable, you have to get another big turntable, you have to get a mixer, then you need crates and crates of records. Now to do all that, it's just this and my laptop, and I'm good to go. I remember my, my freshman year here, actually, all, I, I made like all my, my roommates, anytime I had a gig on campus, like carry all my records. a two-hour set you need probably hundreds of songs that's hundreds of records you need to go out and buy that you need to have physically now it's all in the computer every everyone's downloading mp3s so the barrier to entry is much much lower now to be a DJ I was here and I graduated 15 years ago which now seems like an eternity ago but in a sense when I came out I came out into a music industry that was just completely different I went down to New York right after graduation in the late 90s, you know, I quickly, I'm a bass player, and that's still my main thing, but I kind of was quickly attracted to kind of electronic bands, like bands that kind of mixed electronics and live instruments. And I started playing in an electronic band, maybe now 1998, and the way we would set up was basically, it was, you know, me, a singer, and a guy who did the keyboards. And this guy would basically bring this giant sampler, and he would basically bring the sampler to a gig, just put it down, he would press play, and the track would play. I mean, essentially what it was was just a giant iPod. A friend of mine suggested, hey, why don't we bring in a laptop and use this program, Ableton Live, which at the time was like Ableton Live 3, and see if we can maybe work something out, some kind of hybrid, kind of electroacoustic group. I'm gonna build a vocoder using Ableton. And I guess I chose the vocoder as something to demonstrate just because in doing so, kind of in building up this vocoder and show you how you can use a laptop to process vocals live. So, and essentially use it as a live performance tool for vocals. But also, the line between live performance and production is so blurry now, it's essentially the same thing if you want to record vocals. <laughs> So, cool. Any questions? When's the last time that you and DJ Shifty jammed out? You know, we've actually never jammed out yet, but I, I hope we will. Uh, I think he's trying to get us to do it now. I think that's it. <laughs> Clap, you can.
you'd have to be able to pick up a needle and go like boom, boom, boom. That's, that's nearly impossible. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.